Hi, my name is Dr. Barry Treisman, and today we're going to discuss spinal articulation and segmental spinal articulation. Everyone's familiar with the cat and the cow from yoga poses, and if you're not, we're going to show that to you today also. The reason that this is so important, it helps us figure out what ideal posture is going to be. An ideal posture is going to help with any kind of spinal complaint, whether it be a low back problem, a disc, sciatica, or a neck problem, and shoulder problems, and pretty much any nerve problem with the, within the upper or lower extremity. And so what we're going to do is that first we're going to demonstrate the cat and the cow, and then we're going to demonstrate the segmental cat and cow. So here we have the spine in all its glory. So this would be somebody as if they were face down, this would be their head, this would be their buttocks. And when we look at the spine, there's three distinct curves. There is a lumbar curve that goes this way, a thoracic spine curve that goes this way, and then a cervical curve that goes this way. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take the spine and first we're going to make ourselves like a Halloween cat. And then we're going to make ourselves like a cat. So that what we're trying to do is we're trying to really round the spine, the entire spine, and then really extend the spine. And what we always want to do is when we do the extension, we always want to keep the back of the neck nice and long. We don't ever want to do the chicken neck. The chicken neck is that. So I'll do it one more time properly. Round like a Halloween cat. Extend like a cow, keeping the back of the neck nice and long, almost feel like it's growing. And when I'm doing this, I'm really trying to move the entire spine. Now we're going to do the articulating cat and cow. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to first tilt the pelvis, the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, and then the cervical spine. And then I'm going to tilt the pelvis forward, the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, the cervical spine. And if I pull with my hands, pulling forwards, trying to almost pull my chest in this direction, it will help also. So I round, oops, I round starting at the bottom, bringing it up, thoracic spine, cervical spine, then I drop down, extend back of the neck nice and long. Thanks. That's the cat and cow, both articulated and global. Hope you practice it. Hope you get a lot out of it. Have a great day.